Hello, you're watching the first video in the unit on multiplying and dividing negative numbers. This video covers C1 and parts of F1 and F2 together. Before we start, here are two questions to check that you can add and subtract negative numbers. Pause the video now and try this question. Well, there's a common difference in the sequence between each term of negative 3. So 12 take away 3 is 9, 9 take away 3 is 6. So we can continue the pattern. 3 subtract 3 is 0, 0 subtract 3 is negative 3, negative 3 subtract 3 is negative 6, and so on. Next, try this addition and subtraction. Well, negative 8 plus 5 leaves negative 3. And 5 take away negative 4 is the same as 5 plus 4, which equals 9. On to multiplication. Again, we'll use coloured counters to help us. A yellow counter will represent positive 1, and a red counter will represent negative 1. If you need to draw the counters at home, just draw them like this. OK, here's a picture of six yellow counters. What number sentence does this picture represent? Well, the easiest one to write is just two yellow counters plus two yellow counters plus two yellow counters equals six. But normally, if we had a repeated addition like this, we'd write it as a multiplication. We'd write it as 3, lots of 2, makes 6. Um, don't forget, though, that there's another interpretation of this picture. We could interpret it as a division. We could look at it as six yellow counters that have been divided into three groups of 2. And we would write that as... 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Here's a picture of some negative counters. Uh, what number sentence is this? Well, there's a group of 4 here, which makes negative 4, plus another negative 4, plus another negative 4, for a total of 12 negative counters. But normally, a repeated addition like this, again, we would write as a multiplication. So we would write this as 3 groups of negative 4, equals negative 12. The other way to read this picture is to see it as 12 negative counters, that's negative 12, divided into three equal groups, 1, 2, 3, and each group contains four negative counters, so that equals negative 4. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. What number sentence can we see here? Well, there are two groups of counters representing negative 5, and altogether there are counters representing negative 10. Notice we took a positive number, multiplied it by a negative number, and we got a negative result. Positive times negative is negative. The other way to read the picture is to see that there are counters representing negative 10 divided into two equal groups and each group represent, represents negative 5. Here's another example. What does this, what number sentences um, does this picture represent? Well, there are five groups of counters representing negative 3 and in all there are counters representing negative 15. This again, it's a positive times a negative to give a negative. The other way to read it is that there are counters representing minus 15 split into five equal groups. Each group represents negative 3. Now without the counters, what are four lots of negative 6? Just like in the last example, we've got a positive times a negative. So we expect the answer to be negative. So it must be negative 
24. In this example, you can imagine eight negative counters being divided into two equal groups, so there must be four negative counters in each group. Please do these two questions on paper to hand into your teacher. Um, and if your teacher has asked you to move on immediately to the next video, please do so. The next video continues with F1 and F2.